we have a big topic today. I need to discuss arrays. An array is a data structure that can hold multiple values. Values are accessed by an index number. Think of an array as kind of like a variable that holds multiple values. It's a little more complicated than that, but that's a good way of thinking about them. Perhaps we have the name of a car. This will be a standard string. I will name this car. Assign this a value of whatever car that you like. One car that I like is a Corvette. Then I will display whatever our car is. Standard output car. So of course this car is a Corvette. We can transform this variable into an array by making the following changes. After the variable name, add a set of square brackets, then enclose your values with a set of curly braces. There, we now have an array. My variable car is now an array. Now this variable can hold multiple values, multiple cars, kind of like it's a parking garage. Separate each value with a comma. This time I'll add a Mustang, then a Camry. Now take a look at this. I will display car. Now what the heck is this? So this is a memory address of where our array is located, like 123 Fake Street. If I need one of these elements, one of these values that's found within the array, in order to access it, I have to do so by an index number. After the array name, I will add a set of square brackets, then an index number. The first element in an array has an index of zero because computers always start with zero. And we have our Corvette. It's kind of like a parking spot number. That's why I went with this example of cars. If I need the next element within my array, I would access element number one. Then I should probably add a new line just to separate these. New line. We have our Corvette and our Mustang. Then we have our third element, which would have an index of two. So we have our three elements, our Corvette, our Mustang, and our Camry. You can reassign values too. I'm going to change the first element within this array. Take the array name, select an index number, I'll set this equal to a Camaro, a Chevy Camaro. Now at parking spot number zero, we have our Camaro, then our Mustang, then our Camry. I'm going to rename car as cars, just so people know that it's plural, although it's not necessary. One thing with arrays is that they can only contain values of the same data type. Like I'll try and stick a number within here, number one. So our compiler doesn't like it that there's a number in here with all these strings. So arrays should all be of the same data type. Now if you don't know what you want to place within an array, you can simply declare an array then assign values later. I'm going to declare an array of cars and then later assign some values. Cars at index 1 will have our Mustang. Cars at index 2 will be our Camry. See, we still have an error though. Array size missing in cars. You can declare an array, then assign values later. We need to set a size to this array. It's a static data structure. If I'm only going to place three cars within this array, I'll set the size to be three. So within the square brackets, you can set an array size. And this would work the same. You can declare an array, be sure to set the size, and then assign values later. Let's try one last example. I'm going to create an array of prices. These will be of the double data type. Prices, add a set of square brackets. I'll go ahead and assign these values right away so I don't need to declare a size explicitly. Make up some prices. $5, $7.50, then $15. I'll display these prices, standard output, prices, I'll list an index number of what element I'm trying to access, the first would be zero, then I'll add a new line, let's copy this line of code, and paste it a couple more times, we have prices at index zero, that is the first element, then one, two, and three. And here are the prices. So yeah, that's an array. Think of it as a variable that can hold multiple values. 
It's a little more complicated than that. It's a type of data structure, but that's a good way of thinking about them. To change a variable into an array, after the variable name, add a set of square brackets, place your values within a set of curly braces. That's if you're assigning values right away. Or otherwise, you can set a size, and then assign values later. That's another option. So yeah, those are arrays. Your assignment is to post an array in the comment section down below. And well, yeah, those are arrays in C++.